Hey guys, it's Jessie. Welcome to my channel. If you want to see me put together this look using some brand new products, just keep watching. products today that I'm really excited about. A couple weeks ago the um, Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes were on. I believe it was Hot Look. It may have been Rue La La now. I can't remember. But they had a bunch of their palettes on for a ridiculously cheap price and so I decided to pick some up because I've always heard a lot of really good things about them. So I picked up the Nubian 2 palette and the Saharan palette. These are really pretty. I haven't used them yet. Uh, I also finally got in my stuff that I ordered on the Jeffree Star Memorial Day sale. So I have some of that stuff to play with too today. So let's go ahead and get started. I already primed my face, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with foundation. Today I'm gonna use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I feel like there's so much makeup coming out this week that it's gonna be crazy. Jeffree Star's new summer line is coming out. The Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette is coming out, which I am so excited for. First of all, I love Morphe palettes, obviously, and second of all, I love Jaclyn Hill. And I haven't even watched her swatch video because I will get too excited about it, and so I can't do that to myself. Okay, next I'm going to go in with concealer. Nothing new or exciting here. And then I'm going to contour a little bit with my Clinique Chubby Stick. And then to set under my eyes, I'm going to go in with my RCMA No Color Powder and my little Morphe sponge. Go ahead and prep my eyes with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I want a base. So I think I'm going to do some color today. I'm not totally sure what I want to do today with my eyes but I want it to have a nice foundation. So I'm gonna hop back and forth between both of the Juvia's Place palettes today. So first I'm gonna go into the shade, first I'm gonna go into the shade Katsuna. It's um, a light brown color. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Katsuna. So I discovered the greatest movie the other night and now I've become completely obsessed with it. Um, if you have not seen Trolls, go on Netflix and watch that movie. I, I just can't even, like I love it so much. I've watched it so many times in the past week. It's ridiculous. I realize it's a kid's movie and it's an animated movie, but it is just so amazing. Next I'm gonna hop over to my Nubian 2 palette and go into the shade Madagascar, which is a darker brown shade. I love animated movies so much. Finding Dory is probably one of my favorite movies ever. I love Despicable Me. I'm so excited because Despicable Me 3 comes out on my birthday. It's like the best birthday present ever. I just don't like scary movies and I feel like there's so much like stress and craziness in the world that I like watching a movie that you know nothing crazy is gonna happen. You know, you can just watch, you just turn on and watch and chill out for an hour. That is what I love. Okay, next I'm gonna go into the shade Morocco and work that into my crease and also down onto my lid. I wanna bring some gold bronziness into this look, so I'm gonna go into the shade Sheba. And I'm just packing that onto my lid as well. One of the things that really excites me most about this palette and the Saharan palette is that there are so many different colors in it. You can create so many different looks and I'm so excited about it. I mean, this really bright blue is gorgeous. That's Cleopatra. The green Egypt is really, really pretty. Like all of these colors are gorgeous. I swatched Layla 
the other day. It's this really pretty um, purple, blackish kind of sparkly color. These are gorgeous colors. Next, I'm gonna go into the shade Kenya and work that into the outer corner of my eye. Deepen that up. And then I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush and just go over my little edges to make sure everything is nice and blended out and not too crazy. Next, I'm just gonna quickly fill in my brows with my CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Gel. I wanna keep this really bronzy looking, so instead of black eyeliner, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop uh, Cream Gel Liner, and this is in the shade Overboard. It's a really pretty dark brown kind of bronzy color, and I'm gonna put that on my upper waterline. Next, I'm gonna pop on some fake lashes and I will be right back. Okay, I popped on my Lima lashes. These are the style Jackie. Next, I'm gonna move on to my lower waterline. First, I'm gonna go into that really dark shade Kenya with my flat definer brush and start working that into my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna blend that out using the shade Morocco. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Kenya and just smudge that out on the outer corner of my lower lash line. For my lower waterline, I'm gonna go in with my matte Costa Riche liner. It's a really pretty dark brown color. I find that those ColourPop cream gel liner pencils are really hard to put in the waterline. I feel like I don't get a lot of payoff since I think they're a little too creamy, since the pencil is a little more waxy, it tends, tends to stick a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm gonna pop some MAC Giga Black Extended Play Mascara on my lower lashes. For bronzer, I'm gonna go in with my Elizabeth Mott What Up Beaches bronzer. I pretty much alternate between three bronzers because I feel like once you find a bronzer that really works on your skin and really looks good, you sort of wanna just keep using it because bronzers can go so bad so quickly. For blush, I'm gonna go into MAC Peaches. Put a little color in my cheeks. For highlighter, I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics So Fucking Gold Skin Frost. This is one of the new products I bought. And it is so fucking gold. For my lips first, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Nude Beige Liner. Then I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ashton. This is one of my very favorite colors. I think it really matches this look, this eye look. And then to add a little ombre effect, I'm gonna go in with Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin and just to blot that a little bit in the middle of my lip, in the center of my lip. And then because I really want to sparkle, I'm going to go back in with that highlighter and put a little bit of that on my lips. And finally, to set my face, I'm going to go in with my Morphe Prep and Set Setting Spray. I heard that this is sold out on the Morphe site and that makes me wish that I had bought two when I bought this one, but hopefully they restock it really soon because I love this so much. Okay, and here's the finished look using the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 eyeshadow palette. I really love the way this came out. I love this color combination, and I am certain that I will be using this palette again in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.